Hey, it's Craig from TC Helicon. I wanted to give you a little tutorial on how to attach mic stand mount products to the mic stand. So we've got a few of them obviously that we use. We have a Perform V here. I've also got a uh, Touch 2 and I have an FX150 here as well. So I've got this uh, creepy little camera set up where when my arm goes over here it gets bigger. <laughs> So uh, good times for us all, but uh, I just figured having a zoomed in view of how things go would uh, help to show people how to attach things to mic stands. Now, the first thing I want to talk about actually is where on the pole that we attach things. So you can see I'm zoomed in on the top part of the pole here. Above this is the uh, is the actual mic stand bit, so the, the angled part. I'm just going to put that out of the way. This is the portion down here I would call the chuck. None of our devices are intended to be attached below the chuck. So it's going to be on that middle pole in between where your, your mic stand might either be at the end of the boom or on an actual boom arm itself. Um, but this pole right here is the one that we're going to attach to. So for Perform V, you've got this little notch here. You can actually rotate it like this. And I hope you can see that the pole goes straight down right through it. And then all you do is you just rotate it forward and clip it into place. And you can spin it on the stand to face you. And then to get it off, it's exactly the same motion. Just crank it back like that and it'll come right off. And you can do it anywhere you want on the stand, up or down. Okay, and that's how to get it on there. So these do flex quite a bit, these, these things here. So you can get them onto mic stands that are of varying widths, but somewhere between about 14 and 17 millimeters for this post is a good guideline for any mic stand you're connecting to. So there's a few like, uh, we've got some Hercules stands that are quite thick and they won't fit on with one of these guys. But don't feel a little bit bad to kind of give it a bit of force to it. You just don't want to be trying to put it on this bottom post and just really crank it on it to try and get it on. All right, let's move on to touch. So this applies to the touch series, touch and touch two. I got this little slot at the back here. So the way you're gonna put that on is you're actually gonna slide the mic stand through the slot here until it lines up with this little cup thing back here. I don't know if you can see that there, this little cup thing right there. Okay, and then you're gonna torque it down. So we're gonna slide through, here we go, get it onto that little cup and you'll see that these line up as well here. Those are the grips and then you torque it down. And what that does is it actually grips on right here with the, uh, with the little grips. And to get it off, you just back it up like that and slide it back off. And again, same thing that you can't connect to the bottom of the stand. You can see how it's just too uh, big to get in there. Um, so touch, touch two, done that way. Our third one is the FX150. It's a little bit bigger here, but it's uh, the same kind of principle. Uh, this one is sort of a, a halfway between the uh, Perform V and the Touch. You're gonna wanna get the mic stand to go up through here first, and then you're gonna twist it and have it come back. So let's go sideways to the stand here. Let's see if I can do it while I'm sitting sideways. There we go. So you can see how it connects right in here, and I haven't actually cinched it down yet, but when I do, you'll see I can click it into place and it's nice and solid on that mic stand. So there you go, you've got your FX150, your Touch, your Perform series. All of those are able to be connected to the mic stand pretty easily. I think the biggest stumbling block for people is that they try and go below the chuck there and it ends up on the big part of the mic stand that you're not able to, uh, to connect it to. So hopefully that helps you out a little bit. Take care.